slow. I'm going to try to do this in one day, but I probably can't. So um, I'm going to try to keep it short. Stay with me. <laughs> um, there's been a few changes to the Pacifica since I got it back in April of last year. And namely, it is my sleeping accommodations, my storage, and well, a few things that I'm looking to do is putting roof racks on here so I can utilize my storage space even better by buying a rooftop carrier, but that's for later. Um, I've changed around the configuration of the bed, where the dog sleeps, and I've purchased some decent tires for it. These are Michelin Defender 2s. I got stuck in a sand trap last year and um, couldn't get out. So I thought it was high time to buy some new tires. The dog likes to sleep in his bed, but I need my own space. And what's that? Well, storage. And I'm going to show you how to pack the car with everything I take with me. If you watched the last video I did, and hopefully you did, um, you'll see that my primary concern is that the heaters are not blocked. So the heaters are not blocked. This is a cover for my dog's crate. That's my cane because I'm old. <laughs> and what's in there? Hmm. So my cook stove goes under there, so it's, again, not blocking the heaters. So the box I just pulled out is paper towels and extra storage for my Dutch oven. What's this, and why are these here? This is where I store my ropes, my tie downs, my hammer, um, all this stuff, tent pegs, all this stuff I need at a campground, but I don't need if I'm sleeping in the car. Also, bungee cords. A studio light, which I use in my tent. Sometimes I use it back here. I don't use it for filming, but, well, except for some of the cooking videos. I also got in here more cables, extension cords, and something that's kind of important when you go to a campground, I usually go to sites that have power on them because I have a dog and he gets very cold, so I run a heater. Uh, otherwise, I use my propane little buddy. But I carry a adapter cord for my extension cords as well as a power strip. So everything is snug up under here. Why don't I use a door with a hinge or a magnet or some sort of a clasp instead of doing this? Well, I mentioned I have a dog. If any of this ever shifts to where it doesn't belong, I don't want a door opening up. It takes about 25 seconds to put on a couple of wing nuts and it's secure. It's also a hidden compartment if you wanted to store something that you don't want in the public eye, such as maybe a safe. Um, I Just because I store things like this, uh, you can store a safe in there. I store my CB radio and my tools. And that's all my cooking and camping food preparation stuff. This is my solar panel.
tucks in there. Here's the bed. Why is it so thick and fluffy? Well, I carry all of the blankets I'm going to need for camping underneath the sleeping bag instead of having rolled blankets everywhere. Uh, also, this is a little heater, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Always carry a towel when you have a dog, because, well, they get wet. And anything you're going to need, like dish soap, extra rope, just tuck it away. This is my blanket that goes over the front seats to black out the car at night. Here's my dog's crate. This is the other side of the box that I built and for extra places to store things. This is my camp table. Watch my camping videos, you'll see where I use it. This also gives you extra storage to put other things in if you want to. It also keeps the dog from falling through when he gets exuberant. Um, if he's laying up here, which I can see that he has been, dog bone. So if you watched my first video, I had the seat up on this side, and um, this was not in this position. Again, this is for the dog. This is for me. The wire cage is still there to keep him from going in the front. And this is a first aid kit that I always keep handy in the car. Yep. I have plenty of room to sit in here. Um, there's not a whole lot of headroom. But again, I switched where the bed was originally. It was on that side, and I used storage underneath this seat. But I do have the ability to get into the storage on this side. Um, I have the ability to be a little bit more comfortable in the morning as far as getting up. And um, the dog has his little home, so he is not breathing all over me. But yeah, this makes more sense for me. And I'm going to finish packing it. One of the first things I take with me on the road is my easy up. Then there's my tent. Why do I have these? Well, I have to go start the car and show you. So I have a front seat, which also has a slope to it. And I carry a board, which levels out that front seat. And I'm not talking about this, because I don't like using this in this car. I used it in my pickup truck, but I don't want to use it in my car. I do use it in my tent. But I do use this, which is a little portable space heater, which sits right there. But you need ventilation. This has a split in it. Sorry, it's very windy. It goes over the edge of the window. Power cord is outside. And that way, the cord is outside. When the door is shut, it keeps this side from having all of the warm air escape, and the power cord has plenty of flax. The other window on the driver's side also has one of these WeatherTech shields, and this fits up right under it, by the way. And that's where my ventilation comes from, is the other side. I crack the window about an inch. When you're done, 
you just take off your foamy thing. And there you go. So, yeah, it's um, a small investment of a couple of dollars, but it's worked great. I put the heater up on a board because they are cloth seats. And I've measured the distance inside of the car as far as where the heat is deflected towards. Reflected? Deflected? Whatever. So I just put a box on the front of the floor. Again, this is a family car, so I normally don't keep all of this in there unless I'm on a road trip. But um, what happens with that box? is it holds my solar battery. When I'm on the road, I travel with two coolers. One is a refrigerator freezer and the other one is an ice chest. So that goes there. I have a silicone mat that goes on that. The refrigerator slant freezer plugs in there. The cord goes to the front and over to the power supply to keep this from falling anywhere. And it, it probably won't, but it, to keep it from doing that. So this is a bungee cord, not a bungee cord, it's a whatever, it's a rubber strappy thing. Anyway, it goes around the cooler so that if I have to stop fast, it doesn't move, but I can get into it if I want to. First aid kit, which is normally here, is under here, so it's more convenient. And this just sits on Again, it's a slip-proof mat. Front seat again. There's my power supply and my portable heater. There's my piece of wood, so everything's out of the way. My dog poopy bags, my trash bag. Those are the foamy things for the windows. And that's a portable dog dish. <laughs> when you go to the store, um, Wayne store, they give you a bag. It's got all kinds of dividers in it for multiple bottles of wine. However, I like to use it for my propane, my butane, and way at the bottom, which you can barely see is a can of Sterno. The next thing I put in the car is my spices cooking spray, coffee, which is all important. That fits there. A couple of things to show you before I forget. When I bought these, they're insulated panels that go over the windows. They were silver on both sides. I took to my handy dandy sewing machine and sewed a piece of black over it. So you can't see in and you can't see that I've got them on the windows. I see so many campers that have silver windows on the outside and they're supposed to be stealth camping. That's not stealthy. That's stealthy. Velcro here. And there's a few pieces of Velcro on the glass. the inside. Still tons of room for storage. The only thing I needed to put on would be the front panel which goes from headrest to headrest and it covers the whole front 
so the people can't see in. While I'm walking around the car, I'm showing you a few extra little things. <laughs> it's winter and it's messy out. And even in the spring, I keep a blanket on the ground with the dog's dish. And I still have a ton of storage underneath. This is packed. Coolers and all. So the reason why I carry a tent when I can sleep in my car is because there are a number of places that you go that if you try to sleep in your car they will kick you out. However, if you have a tent, they don't know that you're sleeping in your car because they think you're sleeping in your tent. I've run into it a few times, um, almost getting kicked out of places because I was sleeping in my car. I do sleep in my tent in the summertime. I have no problem sleeping in my tent when it's 100 degrees out. It's cooler than being in my car uh, to sleep on a cot in a tent. But for the most part, it's quieter to be in my car 